A heartbreaker in Detroit. The White Sox come back from a 4-1 deficit to take a 5-4 lead late in the game. But their defense falls apart in the bottom of the ninth. They lose in 10, and the Tigers take 3 of 4 from the White Sox. It is Subaru White Sox post game live here with the legend Isaac Gee, and I'm Chuck Garfine. The Sox just are like beating themselves. They're stopping themselves. They go to Kansas City, lose 3 of 4. They go to Detroit, they lose 3 of 4. In between these series, they've actually played really good, but this one stings. Because if they split this series, I'm feeling pretty good about it, but that was. You can't have too many of those, especially the way this team started the season. Well, especially the start of the season, especially the way they started the game today. Dylan was very struggle. All of a sudden, they bring this game back in the, in the, in the, in the great form. You know what I mean? Good at bat, great base running, aggressive. It was fun to watch that, that in the seventh inning. Once again, the seventh inning was very productive for the White Sox. And it's just like all of a sudden, the bullpen went down. Well, I don't know what he said. The bullpen went down, but they, they threw the ball very well. Mm -hmm. You know, they only scored only, what, one run in the, in the 10. But in the 10, uh, two runs for the bullpen. And you just see, like, okay, I, I still say Kelly threw the ball very well. Yeah. Well, I mean, good. shoot, there was a big mistake that Luis Robert made on that play. No run it, it should, should the have scored. A run should not have scored in the bottom of the ninth, period. Yeah, it should, it should, it should get the ball of front of him. Yeah. And he just tried to make the play and he couldn't make it. No. You come into this game, Dylan sees 10 and 1 in his career against the Tigers, 6 and 0 at Comerica Park. But as I was looking at this team and the way they've been playing, I'm thinking, this is a different Tigers team than what we've seen in the past that Dylan Cease has seen in the past. And we're going to show you why it's been different. Uh, I'm starting to believe, not in the Tigers winning the division, although right now their odds of winning the division are better than the White Sox. Uh, they're a scrappy team. You're not just going to go into Detroit and win three or four like I think a lot of people thought. If you got to beat them. They're not going to beat themselves anymore. Well, one thing about it, they, they, they changed the line. Now they're not a free-swinging team. Mm -hmm. And if they, you take Vice out of there, wow. Mm -hmm. That people wouldn't make you really, really pitch well. Mm -hmm. They take him pitch. They're not freelancer. They're not spending stress on the way they used to. And you asked me that during the game. I said, yeah, that's easy. It was too many Venezuelan guys last year in the ball club. They're swinging everything. That's why you can see the difference between this ball club at the plate right now, and it was in the past. So it's a Venezuelan thing? Is that, I mean, I know are you being, you're being sarcastic I or mean, you're being serious? I'm never sarcastic. I always tell the truth. Okay. You, when you have Venezuelan there, or, I, I don't want to say Latino. Yeah, as a Venezuelan, you can say that. Yeah, because I don't want to say Latino because I, I might somebody, I heard somebody's feelings. But Venezuelan, you go there and hack. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. They had two Latin, uh, Venezuelan guys in the lineup, very hawkers, and everybody's swinging. Nowadays, I think it's a different was. Now they, they shrink those guys the strike box zone. it in, yes, box yes. it in very well, and make you work. Yeah, I mean they they did not swing at too many bad pitches, and we're going to show you that um, in a little bit. Should we check the salty meter? I'm definitely salty. No, I, I, you, they're going to put you with, like tears coming at you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we have tears on the salty meter. Let's see what I am today. Oh gosh, who picked that? I got to pick that. I don't know. I am very salty. Don't look like very it. Very salty. Don't sound like it. I think there's a fake salty. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't choose if I'm salty. That's the meter. I could have my own opinions. The salty okay. meter is very salty. Oh, I see you're worse. Yeah, I've been much worse. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes. You, I think right now you, you're like, uh, I'm not happy. You're like, oh, there we go. I'm not happy. Maybe you're like, you know, popcorn. It's a little bit of, little bit of salt. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, well, you know what? The reason why I'm not – the meter says I'm very salty. I'm not very salty just because they did come back, and I loved how they came back. I and mean, we're going to show that. Actually, you know what? Why don't we show that? Let's show that because the Sox are down 4-1. to one. Got a leadoff walk. Once again, this leadoff walk thing that Hawk Harrelson put into the atmosphere years ago continues to uh, haunt the opposition. And then great pinch hit by Gavin Sheets. And then it's going to lead to this blue two-run double by Aloy Jimenez. First game back with the White Sox after missing three weeks. This seemed like it was going to be that kind of day for the White Sox. I just see. Defense? Yeah. Oh, go the opposite way? Please do. Stay there. Please. You're not going to hit 20 home runs. 25. Well, how about winning the batting title that way? 
Exit velocity! Overrated. Overrated. Exit velocity, overrated. Man may hit two boards in the nose, don't get a hit. And also a loyal, big, big, big blooper. Dull. Yeah, Look your boy, that. your boy was Jake, uh, Jake Berger, who could have won the game with yes, that run. Yeah, twice. Yeah. And nope, that's, I take those blooper big time. You know what I mean? Those, those very productive blooper, and I know how the pitcher feel. You run to back it out the play, I need cursing the crap and everyone. Who you lucky? Hit the ball hard. Hit the All ball right. like a man. All right. How about this from Aloy Jimenez? It's a great base running. Mm -hmm. Great base running. Maybe before. They stop there. No, oh, don't get hurt. Don't go, please. Stay there. He just unbelievable. I like that hustle. Very tight and close play, but he did it everything right. And I, I, that happened, I think, uh, TA scored. Yeah, I guess we didn't show that, but okay, uh, yeah, TA scored, scored on a right before that, round ball. Yeah, right before that, I think maybe somebody else said, you know what? Let's do the same thing TA do. It's TA hustle like that, yes. the way he did to score that run. Everybody in that ball club had to do it. That's the first time I can recall Aloy Jimenez sliding head first into home plate. There, be, I mean, because normally you don't want a bang bang play with Aloy. There was there, and it was great to see him physically. I mean, he was coming back from an appendectomy. He was supposed to be out four to six weeks. He was out three weeks, and he did that. That was good to see. I like that decision about Pedro Grifo and the third base Rodriguez. Say you go in contact mm -hmm. before a lot of managing. No one when you go to contact you. You're risking the guy you hurt, yeah. slide the plate, collision on the plate. It's a lot of things to risk, okay? Yeah. All this on today, two plays, got in contact, mm -hmm. worked perfect for the White Sox. I like, I like Griffo's decision. I said, let's go because a lot of people say, no, it's our own home play. We had another chance to get a hit. Yeah. I think this is a great thing. And whoever teach base running for the White Sox right now, whoever is yeah. in charge of that, great job what they did. All right, so this is why baseball makes me crazy because I just – Put all this in my. But you born crazy. Baseball will get you more crazier. I was born crazy. Yeah, now you got I, and worse. And now I'm just off. You got it. You was. I'm you off got, the reservation. You got worse. <laughs> all right. So this is why baseball can make us crazy. All right. So you've got Luis Robert Jr., who was rated the number one defender in baseball for the first six or seven weeks of the season. Defensive runs saved. Okay. Today, he, he, he made a couple of plays. And he made a couple of one. good plays here Beside today. Beside this one. Okay. But here's the irony of baseball. So, Riley Green is playing center field for the Tigers. What does he do here today? You couldn't script this. Jake Berger at the plate. This is the top of the eighth. This is a home run in 27 other ballparks. There should have been a home run in this one, but Riley Green makes this catch. Just, that would have won the game for the Sox because they would have won by one. Yeah, he's one thing. He's different thing, too, because when you got men on second base, you don't care. Like, you can score. We got two runs. Yes. All of a sudden, this kid is, is this kid going to be a great player. Yep. Is he got good at bats. he got great, yeah. great instincts in that field. That kid is going to be a special for the Tiger pretty smooth. Okay, so, okay, it's now a 5-4 game. You're hoping the Sox will be able to keep the Tigers off the scoreboard. In the bottom of the eighth, Kendall Graven comes out six pitches, gets three outs, and we can talk about later about should he have pitched the ninth. But instead, it's Joe Kelly. Here is Riley Green, that same center fielder, and our center fielder does this. Well, that's kind of weird because that ball, no, he not going to catch it. He's not that bad. He don't have a chance to catch it. And he got caught in the between. Tab in four or wait. Step back and wait for He got caught. So you can see him. You can watch in the replay. That's a great pitch, by the way, guys. Yeah. He just got put good swing on it. You can see, like, okay, I, I should die or not. No, I'm going to die. No. Mm -hmm. That ball will roll. The funny thing about it, he just slide. I just saw that. He just like to start to stop the ball. Yeah. And he, I think it was a little, little, little bit too late for that. But I think he just tried to, the reason he died for the ball is just because he wanted to stop the ball to do it. All right, and then on this play, what could T.A. have done here? I mean, oh, I, that would have been a close play, I think. It was a very, very close play, but you got to take a look at it. Oh, yeah, it will be out. If, if yeah, he would have out. Uh, yes, if T.A. made that play, it would be a play of the play. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it. Happened two days in a row. And the way he threw the ball to first base, he know, he know he should make that play. Yeah, so... Then you got to take a breath and realize, all right, now we got extras. So the Tigers, oof. Okay, now I'm now realizing this. The Tigers are in May, reminding me of the Guardians last year. It just came in my head. I'm not saying they're going to win the division. The Tigers are playing with something. They got something. I don't know what it is, 
but it's that thing. You know when you can tell when you, your team's got something? I don't see the Sox having something, especially with the start they had. Tigers have something. I, I, think, I think they believe themselves. I think they say, hey, guys, we're here mm, about believing themselves. Yeah. And one thing about it, they, they're young. Yep. They had a lot of speed. They put it, play pretty good defense. And they had the pitchers they don't have last year. Last year, half of the pitching staff was hurt. The guiding and the bullpen is uh, good enough. You know what I mean? I think A.J. Hinch is doing a tremendous job to keep those guys together. Yeah, again, you used to be, go to, you used to be able to go into Detroit. Even if you weren't playing good, the Tigers are going to beat themselves and you'll win. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of- They're not beating themselves like they did last year, the year before, the year before. So, top of the 10th inning. Here comes Alex Lang, and he's got great stuff. you got to find a way to at least get Robert to third even, and they're just hacking, swinging and missing. This is bias take that back. Bias take that back. You know, just so hopefully they can hit it. He hit that yes. Get down. Get down to win the game. I thought it was going to go down, actually. I thought that was going to land. I said, the soon he hit, I said, yeah, I picked the Greek. I win. Unfortunately, did not. So now we go to the bottom of the 10th, and you got Ronaldo Lopez is in there. And listen, execution. It is execution, 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 and you got to do it, and they did. By the way, that's a great play for you going a long way yeah. for that. By the way, men of third base, all right? Check this out. Men of third base. That's a long way for Yeah, for he went Pantera. a long They can lose again. That was a losing game right there. Yeah, 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 yeah making yeah. a great play about it. Men on third base, I want you to guys watch this. You see that bat? The white still have in the tent? Yeah. Swinging everything. Look, right in the middle play. Yeah. I got a. You're the one in problem, not me. Yeah, you're on. Yes, exactly. You're the one against the wall, yes. not me. Yeah. You got to come to the plate. Well, look at what it did. Come to the plate. Game winning RBI. The White Sox got men on second base. You said just hacking everything they see around the plate. Yeah, see, what I saw there in the top of the tent with the White Sox, they got themselves out. They got themselves out. Lang did not even throw a strike, I maybe one so. strike. He yes. was out of the zone. The Sox were just, just chasing. To, chasing. And another reason why I feel like this Tigers team has something, their plate discipline in this series. That's, that's uh, well, they have it all year long. Yeah. No, I don't say that. The announcer, and I hear him to say that the big difference between the Tigers in the past and the Tigers now, the playing discipline they have, they're not chasing bad pitches, they're not struck out that much, mm-hmm. they put the ball in play, and that, that, you know, that helps you. Yeah, I'm, hold on, I got right here all the walks that the, uh, all right, so the walks, the Sox had 11 walks, pitchers had 11 walks, so the Tigers hitters had 11 walks on Thursday, seven walks on Friday, four walks yesterday, and off the top of my head, actually, I don't want to say top of the head, I should probably get the stat here, and today, Tigers had eight walks. You're going to be in a lot of games with plate discipline like that. See, this is it. The White Sox are last in the majors. Their hitters are last in the majors in walks, okay? The Tigers moving up the charts. They've got much better plate discipline. So when you have situations like today, it's the 10th inning and Lang's out there throwing. If you're just going to be up there hacking and not... And, and chasing, they will think about gonna, you know, the White Sox are going to lose games, and the Tigers are going to win. You got 30 walks in four days. Yeah, especially in the pitching staff, the White Sox have. Mm-hmm. Say, hey guys, hey, we got to shrink a little bit. That's why Dylan C's got a lot, lot in trouble to the, uh, today. Why? Yeah. Because in the past, no matter what they throw, hacking, hacking, now what he throw, ball one, ball two, trying to find a play, couldn't find it, and, and that's why Dylan have big, big problem today. Find a playing around. All right, so we are in late May. Last year, remember everyone was like Guardians. <laughs> they have no shot. They win the division. Right now, the Tigers are one game behind the Twins. One game behind the Twins. Believe it. They, they, they I, you know what? I'm, it. I, I, this is not a good division. Whoever wins this division, congrats. You'll deserve a division title. But after what I, I watched, four, I've only watched four full games of the Tigers. But if that is what this team is about... They're going to be in it all year. Yeah, because, in this division, they'll be in it all because year. Because they're not going to beat themselves. You say it. There it is. You say it. You say it right away. They're not going to beat themselves. They're going to make the play. They have to make the plays. They're going to run the base well. If they continue to have those at-bats mm-hmm. there and they're starting rotation, keeping, keeping the game yeah. close, they're going to have a great chance while we see last four days. All right. Here's the field coverage pitching recap brought to you by Liberty Mutual Insurance. So there's Dylan Cease. I mean, 10-1 and one in his career. Has never lost at... Comerica Park, and that continues today. Gets a no decision 
On a day that he gives up four runs, only lasts four innings through 102 pitches, Ozzie, he said after his last start, I'm getting really close to syncing everything up, and I believed him. He just didn't have it today. I do believe that, but in the meanwhile, last start he had, he got a little bit of problem early, early in the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. And same way today, early in the game, he got a little bit of trouble. And I say, well, yes, he pitched good, but I don't think he pitched. It, it, it sounds like, a, hey, I get it, but yeah. what I, what we see him, I say, I think he got a little bit in trouble. All game long, you know what I mean? Always he got something. He's just moving out, overthrow, walking people, leave the fastball high, too high. And when you say I feel I'm on my way up, I'm on yeah. my way to be good, I believe that because it's a, it's, this kid knows what it says, thing we don't want to hear or we don't, we don't want to hear. Right. But today it was, it was struggle. But I got to give credit also to the Tigers because – they make it through a strike. They did. They, they did. make it through a strike, and he couldn't do it. All right, let's look at the great escape for today because second inning, Cease gets in trouble. He loads the bases with one out. He was having trouble hitting his spots. He threw 35 pitches. Again, this is a Tigers team that was not swinging out of this. Look, last year, he swings at that. Yes, he last year, he swings at that. Last year, this is, uh, well, he made an out here, I think. No, no, he didn't make an out. So this is uh, this inning continues, but... Uh, this is a sign of things to come that, you know, he got out of this inning, but the Tigers were ready to battle the next inning again. It's a funny thing about it, but he throw 30-plus pitching, two innings, almost three innings mm -hmm. with him. Yeah. Two back-to-back, -back, and one almost get it to 30 pitches. That's, you know, when you got 30 pitches in one inning back-to-back, -back, uh, that it's not going to be anything, anything positive from the outing. Yeah, and he was, this almost was a grand slam in the second inning. It is a uh, long fly out by short, so he gets out of it. There is your great escape. We go to the bottom of the third. Romy Gonzalez had homered to make it a one nothing game for the Sox, but Cease struggled again, and the Tigers once again, here's a double, and then they made him work. He's leading the ball around the plate. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was a good pitch. It was a great pitch to be, especially if you're a lefty. Down and in, and uh, he take advantage of that. Yeah, they're swinging at that. I mean, he was really, really close, but these guys have much better play discipline this year. Yes, he did. Except yes. for Javi Baez. Oh, he never had play discipline. <laughs> you know, he, no worry about that. And that's the play I love it. I love it. I love it. Why? Double steal? No, besides that, that's the way they play. That's not a strike. Thank you to the umpire. Thanks a lot. That's, that's you know what I mean? Yes, it's a you no. Know. As soon as you make that body language, you know, like, what's going on with me? Mm -hmm. As soon as you throw the ball, you got in a half circle. Yeah. Like, I can, you know, you can see his body language on the mound. You don't feel comfortable with his And this is an 0-2 pitch to Badu. 0-2. He's like, I'm going fastball. And uh-oh. You see him miss? Yeah. He's going to sit outside, wait outside, and that ball was up and in. Like, he missed. Outside and down, it means open. You see that? Yeah. You see Grandal's glove yes, right there? Yes, yes. And he throws open in and he, got, he paid the dividend. Yeah, so uh, we're going to hear from uh, Pedro Grafal in a little bit and we'll get his reaction. Hopefully, hear from Dylan Cease as well to figure out like what was, I mean, we know what happened. We want to know why it happened.